I'm Peter. This video is about this thing. This is a Volvo 850V70 load cover from 1995 to 2000. I designed a repair kit for it and I'm selling it on eBay. So I made a tutorial earlier for this and now I'm refreshing the tutorial, but I'm going to link that tutorial too. Now I'm going to show you how to put it together. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's start. You will need the repair kit, some pliers, small, big, whatever, you're okay with one big actually. A flat screwdriver, a small one, like a max uh, three millimeter wide, and a Phillips screwdriver, a small hammer, gloves, and a bit of patience. So you probably have a bad load cover, which doesn't pull back. First, you have to take it out from the car. I always start on the right side, you just push it together and it comes out easily. And it's out. Now you start to take it apart. Take off the end caps. They are probably broken because originally they are responsible for keeping the spring tensioned. You can see the damage here. If it's not totally broken, just one side, you have to break it now. It's just a matter of time before it breaks and then you can take it apart again. Start to remove what's left of the original spring tensioner. Break off the parts you can, so you can reach the little black plastic rivet in the middle. Now you have to hit the center of it. It is a center part which keeps it in place. You have to push it inside the rod. After some struggling, I use an M3 screw to do the job. You actually have two in the repair kit I just sent you, if you ordered one. And then pull out the little back T-shaped thing. And it's out. Now lift the load cover and rotate it so the center part falls out. If it doesn't come out, don't worry, I got you covered. If it comes out, you can use this original part when you put it together. Now grab the rod with the plier and pull it out a bit. You have to see a spring, two washers and a black tube. Get the black tube out and throw it away. The repair part will be too thick for it. After this, start to put it together. Grab the new spring tensioner, this is the big T shaped thing, and put it on the rod. Push it on and put the small rivet in the center of the rod. There is only one way you can put it. You can use the original black ones if you wish, it will also work. But I always use these colored ones I send in the repair kit. If you mess something up, it's very easy to take it apart again and if you lose the center part, you don't have to find anything that matches the hole. Now you have to rotate the load cover and start the other side. This one has been repaired before, but luckily they didn't cause too much damage. Get the center part out the same way you did on the other side. Now pull it out and check if everything is there. One spring and two washers. These parts are important because this keeps the load cover tensed in the car. Now comes the match. I sent a jig in the repair kit. It's gonna make your life much easier. You just put it in in the finished end of the load cover and if you push it to something, like a wall or to the ground, rotating it 90 degrees, it's gonna push the rod out and you can work on it easily. Now put on the other spring tensioner and put in the little T-shaped part with the M3 screw. You're almost done. Now comes the dangerous part. You have to tense the cover. Put some gloves on and rotate the spring tensioner in the direction of the cover. If you are on the left side, clockwise. If you are on the right side, counterclockwise. Don't do it the other way, because you will ruin the spring inside the load cover. Wear gloves, because if you lose it, it will hit your hand. If it stands enough, put on the end caps.
Don't worry, you can make it more tense later. And it's done. Now put it back in the car. First the left side, put the end cap in the holes. Slide it in and push it a bit together and towards the front of the car it's gonna just pop in. I could have tensed this one a bit more actually. If your end cap is broken, I still got you covered. This is 3D printed end cap. You can download the model from a link under the video. I saw it some already and they are operating in cars. You print it from ABS plastic, nothing, nothing. ABS or ASA. PTG is not enough. Don't even try. PTG. No, no, no. PLA. No, 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 no. And also, you see these rubber thingies. If you have these missing, you can also download these from the link in the video. And if you have these missing, you can also download these. I also designed these. I design everything. Under the video. In the description. There are links in the description. Find them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm also coming with everything else. I sell, design, design and sell. Bye.